quality, quality terms. So new ways of learning are actually accommodated by this approach. But as said before, still a long way to go. We just started the process. Um, it's a difficult process. It will take much time. And I am talking about decades. In my view, it will take decades before we actually get this in place. It also took decades in the countries that did it. Um, but it should not be a reason not to do it. The introduction of ECTS took us also 20 years. And we are still trying to get it right. But that's higher education. That's change in society. And if so many people are involved, yeah, you have to accept that it takes time. It may also ask for generation changes. You can't expect from a professor who is 65 that he will take this seriously. He wants to retire maybe in a couple of years' time and say, will say, okay, it's up to the, to the younger generation to take it on board. But that younger generation then should do it. We should start with training our trainers. And that's a message to the Bologna follow-up group. Um, what I've seen now during many, many years, uh, and I once said to David Korn, director in the commission, stop fin financing this type of, of events because it becomes a repetition. To a certain extent, of course, that's not true because we are really developing. But are we actually able to reach the right public? Are we actually able to convince our academic colleagues? Are we putting sufficient uh, uh, incentives in the process to make this possible? I've seen the, the, uh, the, the, the papers now for which are prepared for, for Leuven. There will be the discussion next week. And I still 